have it on you. Well, yeah, by the time Tuesday night rolled around, I mean, the streets were clear. Yeah, that's yeah, fine, mm -hmm. you know? So. so we had five or six out of seven show up. Mm -hmm. The den that meets next to us had in South Florida, yeah. same length, same time. They had one out of seven show up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because we made it optional for the parents. You do not feel comfortable driving. Yeah. Don't drive. Mm -hmm. But then we will forward you. But then again, most of the kids in that Tuesday March were didn't have school, so all the parents are like, "Let's get these kids out of the house." <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was ironic because March was closed for the whole day, and they didn't have school at, or after school activities. Right. Right. So I just feel, I just, I feel like it needs to be. A, I just feel like there needs to be this better, a better <coughs> community sort of school relationship, you know, like that that we can somehow. And then I went on, so I did I did make a phone call about it. So I'm going to try and investigate a little bit. I called over to Elliot because I got on Elliot's website, and I don't know if anybody else knows how they function over there, but um, I don't know director is or if they're the most relevant. So is that a full time? I mean how <coughs> full time. I know that she was anyway. Yeah. yeah. No, it's that's she's the name that I left a message yeah. with today. Yeah. So I think it's I, it's a job. Yeah. Um but I don't think it's a full time job. But <coughs> there is some week will be uh, depending what the events there are and stuff. But right. um she's really good at it. Well and, you know? and I mean their website if you pull it up I mean it's really <coughs> amazing because mm -hmm. the school is a K through three but they're using, the, I mean, they have some program through Portsmouth Pool to offer swim lessons there. They have yoga one day. They have pickleball on Sunday. I was <coughs> like, hey, hey. school? It's they have a elementary only. It's so like run out okay. of the Elliott Elementary School, which is why, which is why I was curious about it because I don't believe. But correct me if I'm wrong. Do they have a community center there? I they don't, don't have a. Community
They have they have a lot. They have something once a week called the Coyote Club. Oh yeah. That they have they some yeah, yeah that they do once a week. They go walk trips outside yeah. with somebody that is showing them. I mean, just just uh, it, I was very impressed. Like I was, and, I and how much. I mean, they even not, they not only are they using, you know, they definitely their their home base is the Elliott Elementary School, yeah. but they you know they also had this other program out of Marshwood Middle School and they had <coughs> something out of Marshwood High School. So there's definitely, you know, this because oh this is what I'm, and they're using on the weekends. Now I don't know how that's a good question to ask her because what we have been told. Through um, the principal is that if we want to use their gym, and we talked about this the last time, um, you know, we either have to have a volunteer that's there, a staff, a staff member that's mm -hmm. a volunteer, or we have to pay them. Mm -hmm. And I kind of had a conversation with you know Caroline about that, and we both kind of were like, well, that seems kind of silly because aren't we all under the umbrella of volunteer tax? Payer sort of thing, so it's kind of like, why would Rec have to pay the school? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I can, you're not really paying the school; you're paying a person to be there. But we had to do that through REF when we had the parade there. We had to pay the custodian to come in on Saturday to clean the building and to be there for assistance when we had the plays um, because it wasn't a work day. If it was a work day, we didn't have to pay them. Right. right. So it was just them having to come in and be available to take care of any emergency that happened or whatever. We, we paid them and fed them. Yes. I don't, yeah. Yeah. Do other school? You know, that, I guess that's my question. Is like, do other schools or they have to do this? You know, it's I guess that's what it does. You can't have anybody in there without a custodian. And so much for school. Wait. I asked you to so much for school because I had a function going on and Wallensburg was unavailable. And I was told I wasn't allowed to use a so much for school as a private citizen. But it could be different if we're a community building group. I don't, I don't know how yeah. <laughs> But I will <laughs> also tell you, um, my kids had basketball, they had soccer run through so much for rec. Um, the other one did. And we, but the last Saturday was waning, and instead of canceling it and pushing it into November, she had us go to, um, there's a community center in Sun Springs, the Flanagan, the Flanagan oh. Gym, and that's where we had soccer. I don't know if that's an option either, or even um, the McConnell Center down in Dover. Right. They both have basketball courts that we could practice on if we wanted. I look into it further. It's just silly that we have this facility. That and we can't use it, and we have to go outside of our own town. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it does seem. Because nobody else is using it. So. so is that a conversation? I mean, as well as trying to put something like this together, which I still think is a good idea, forging outside connections. So, so yeah, so I, so I left a message for her, and I just said, I would love to, you know, pick your brain, hear what you guys do down there. I mean, the, the thing I did look into was how big, I didn't realize how many Elliot was, and I was quite surprised. It's over six thousand people, so you know clearly there's a there's a difference in numbers, but they only have one school. They only have the Elliot Elementary School. Mm -hmm. So so I'd like so so I left that. So maybe I could talk to her and you know get you know get back to us or have her come in at another time. Or but it, yeah, I think I think she would be a good person to. She coached the. Um, Seventh grade basketball team. She did. I don't know if she still does, yeah, she, but she did. Yeah, she, she was blonde. a coach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she okay. she was yeah. Shelby's coach last year. Yeah. So she did coach. She's yeah. and she's still coaching. So actually, I could probably say something to her. But anyway, so um, so what we're doing with that, what how we're going to go with basketball now is trying to figure out how many kids there are to establish a team or multiple teams. It looks like again that we're looking at just boys. We really did not have. A very large number. I think we had four girls total show up to all of our sessions, mm -hmm. which is really that bums me out. Um, at least one of those is my daughter. So um, they can't have a uh, joint team, and they can't uh, have boy and girl teams, or 
you can. I'm trying to figure out how that's been done in the past. Um, but it almost doesn't even make, I mean, Tia, would be, Tia is, a, I think, the only 5'6 girl that showed up. And then we had a couple of 3 four girls. So how we've done in the past is we had a 3 four team and a 5'6 team, um, which is usually a pretty good division of but what we're looking at right now is that we might have to have like a fourth, fifth, and sixth grade boys team to make sure that there's enough kids. And that, you know, is okay. But like, you know, I have fourth grade boys who are like, you know, this tall. And, you know, some sixth grade boys are, you know, mm -hmm. so it just might be silly some games to have them try and play mm -hmm. against five because they'd have to play up, right, mm -hmm. against a five. Most, most schools go fifth, sixth grade mm -hmm. as a team. So do you know that your kids would be interested in forming a team? I've talked to a couple of parents. Mm -hmm. um, we were going to kind of try and finalize that this week to see how many kids were okay. really willing to. So. And how many do you need? Uh, you really need, probably you need eight. I mean, you could probably do it with seven, but you know, then you really kind of you know, hold your breath that you don't have more than two kids sick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you really want at least one sub, right? So, um, so yeah. I mean, eight is really ideal. That's what we had last year. We had eight kids, and you know, not everybody showed up for every game. So, which was great because there was a lot of playing time. Um, but yeah, if you don't have sub time, then they they get pretty tired. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll know. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Go. So you'll know by the end of the week if you'll actually form a team. Yeah. We definitely have interest in people, so it's a matter of putting together the right grouping. I think if we went, if we decided to do four, five, and six, we could. I could definitely tell you we'll, we'll have one team. Okay. Just, you know, it would have been nice to have that third, fourth, and fifth, sixth, and I don't know if we have enough for to do two teams. So say you form a team. Yeah. What's the next thing you need to do? So the next thing that I would need to do. So I kind of told them that. I, the, the guys that I wasn't going to coach. So I did last year I coached and I did all the scheduling. So I said, if they tell me that they can coach, I'll do the scheduling with them. Because <laughs> that's a lot of time. And then you've got to call. So then I have to get towns, in touch with right? all the other towns and start, yes, yeah, start the conversations about do we have open dates for games and, you know, how can we, can you come to us, can we go to you, whatever. But last year we had hardly any home games because I didn't I didn't schedule any of them on the weekends, right? So I think we had three home games last year. Um, so what's the financial impact? There's really there's really none. Oh no, no. I mean, the only last year what we did, and I guess we'll have to we um, we charged twenty dollars per kid to be on the team, um, and then we only have to pay for refs for if we have a home, the only home yes. game, okay. yeah. So it really kind of evened out with that. Um, so the only thing that would be an expense at this point is if we wanted to start paying somebody on the weekends to come in, that would be I know last year the girls joined with um, Summertime. Summertime. Yeah. I don't think they're going to do that this year. I think, okay. um, they, uh, I think most of the girls that I know about have. Um, hi there. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> most of the girls have um, joined Marshall.
to is if we decided to do a February, what you're saying, that's so we try to kick off registrations at the end of February. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can so use that as a Wayne Carnival sort of. Um, that's the low uh, Well, in, no, um, we're doing it the summer rack. I mean, uh, summer. Yeah, so yeah. introducing the summer rack yeah. on getting oh, that out there, yeah. sort of like a fun, fun time for the carnival we'll be kicking off. Summer. Yeah. Yeah. Summer fun. Summer fun, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do something with that. Yeah. So they were they were kind of on board with it. Were you at the meeting when we were talking about it? I think I missed that. Oh, okay. But um, you know, they, they thought that was a really good idea to kinda of have two Hi. two events, you know, the yeah. summer right and then and then have something in the winter. And, you know, um kinda of, I was kinda of saying it could be like an offset of uh, Santa Claus Family Fun Day as well to be part of that. And help, yep. and have it be two groups together organizing it. Um, so it's something that we can do. However, I think that basketball financially will trump this. You know, yeah. maybe we yeah. can, and you know, we could have a donation bucket for next year's coming up. I mean, yeah, possibly we can get donations. You know, just by advertising, you know, um, on Facebook accounts or something um, towards it or. Maybe PD and fire department can help with us or something. You know, the first year. Yeah. Um, not that there isn't going to be some money left, because I don't think, based on what you're saying, that you're going to have to use all of what's there. Right. Um, but I think we should maybe try to come up with a plan. I'll I'll kind of do some research and see um, if I can find some activities online and kind of talk about having it maybe February ish. When is the um, uh, fun day? The Santa Claus fun I haven't made a date, but it's usually the third, third Saturday. September. It's always in September. Yeah, but it's usually the third Saturday. If we're going to, I was going to say, if you're doing something Saturday, yeah. in, in coordination with the fire department, it might be nice to use the park across the street. Um, Morton Park, we could do like, if we have some, we could do like a snow sculpture or something like that. Families could get well, together. Well, you the, 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 the in, um, yeah, the softball field. Right, right in there. I mean, and as long as something gets damaged here, right. you could do. Snowing. Both of, both yeah. of them are town property. We could do like a um, well, a soft sculpture on top of this thing. Yeah. 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 I think that can make sense. Cemetery property. I can ask him to put in a little water for something. Yeah. Yeah. But we have, you know, but they, they do, do have fields. We do. But that's all a cemetery. That's oh, a cemetery. cemetery? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So when we oh, get overloaded over there, there, that's going to be gone. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, the, well, the baseball field is cemetery park, and then Horton Park is not cemetery park. On the other side, though, that, yeah, it's where the road right. is, this way of it. The park itself isn't, but after they're going down, yeah, yeah. So the little where the statue yes, is, yeah, that's a town park. Maybe part of it. Maybe it's what we we'll do is we all kind of have our own ideas. Maybe we, as a, one of our takeaways, we come up with some ideas, and some thoughts, make mm -hmm. some contacts mm -hmm. in the next meeting. Come back. Yeah, plan. by then we'll have people too that will want to help. Yeah. Because yeah. that could be part of my volunteering needed flyers. You know, you don't have to volunteer for everything. No. You want to do something specific. But right. if we want we want to do these things and in order to do these things we need additional hands. Yeah. You know. But they don't necessarily have to be in the planning meeting, but they do have to be able to do something off off right. to get things going or yeah. be part of the, the day event for sure. Right. You know. That's the thing. It's it's just a lot of busy people sitting at this table, but it's like it is what you know. You can't do it all, but you don't want to lose it either. Right. So you just have to put that seed out there that help need it for sure. Yeah, that would be neat. Okay. So so for the next to do list, get ideas for one carnival mm -hmm. and bring to the next meeting. Do list. That's us too. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So we can move on to. So the STEM uh, versus the grant funding. Yeah, what so, was up with that? So <laughs> I did get, I contacted him, got an email back. That was an automated response that's built into his program um, to go out 10 days beforehand. So um, So it is canceled. It is canceled. <laughs> okay. So um, I did that's bring funny. a list of about five or six other things that we could choose to do. Um, and I'll pass it around. Um, the top three that are in red are the ones.
funds that the grant was written for, we either do not have the funds available to do them, or they're unavailable. Um, so it's too much money is what you're saying? Yeah, like the um, Mount Washington mm -hmm. would be anywhere from 275 mm -hmm. to like 450 to mm -hmm. come down. Okay, it's too much. Wait, and we have, have left? How we much have like left? Two, 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 240, 250, something along those lines. Um, but we'd have to book two programs in one day, and so mm -hmm. the, it's 175 or 250 for one program, and then they have to run the second program, and then you have to pay mileage, so it comes out to be right around four something mm -hmm. for them. And then um, he was good because he was fifty dollars an hour, so we could have gotten him for four or five hours mm -hmm. plus materials. Mm -hmm. um, the other one was the guy, the trick bike guy in Rhode yeah. Island. But he's five hundred dollars, and then travel expenses yeah. too. So I uh, I checked in with the Children's Museum. They do offsite groups, up to twenty five kids. It's one hundred and seventy five dollars. So that would fit into our group size, or it'd be bigger than what we were thinking for the stamp, but it would fit into our price range. So what did they do? Yeah, what was on and off offsite? What what is it that they that they do? They have a variety of programs that are through their website. Um, they do STEM like activities too. Mm -hmm. uh, which one did you do? Bugs. Oh, like, we, that might be kind of fun. We could like, do open, doodle bugs. We could a studio up. She could rent for ten dollars a person. So we could do twenty five people. Could first come, first serve. First come, right. first serve. She couldn't fit more than that. She, so that that's a lot. Say. Could she fit twenty five? Because it's smaller now. <laughs> Yeah, I think she can fit 25 or 20 in her studio. So, and she's having a glass class tomorrow night. I'm going to, so I can ask her tomorrow night. Um, or she can do two groups of whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, we've yeah. done doodle bugs in the past. Mm -hmm. The kids all love it. Yeah. And we could open it up and make it available to the kids, and they could go down there and, and do something, or she could come to wherever we set up. I mean. She could even use this space. She, she just needs a place with tables, chairs, and mm -hmm. a sink. Mm -hmm. um, there's a guy at the mill who runs Homegrown Eats who's going to start cooking classes in the um, spring in his mill studio. But he said he'd make mozzarella with our teens and stuff, with the older kids. So we could tap into him to see if he would be willing to make do like a cooking class, like a mozzarella class. Um, and then I put on a couple of like um, wildlife encounters and stuff like that because some of theirs are like 250 or something like that. So there are a list of options. Now, have you got an availability date that there are people that are available in December? That I wanted to narrow down the list to mm -hmm. what you guys wanted first. Um, the I did. I have a site. If they're coming to us, the library said that like Sunday afternoons they are pretty open. So if we want to do it Sunday afternoons at the library, mm -hmm. that is that extra room. Yeah. 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 yeah, they can accommodate us okay. as long as they're open. And if it if it's during their non-open hours, we need to let them know, and we might need to give a donation to cover the staff time or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so we would have to figure that in. Um, but. Um, Doodlebugs, I know right now, she would be available, um, like, I'm trying to think, Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays. That would be good, too, if it's the, in December, because then the kids can, like, yeah, they can do Christmas or ornaments or something. Mm -hmm. okay. And right now, she has hours that are noon to 5 each Saturday and Sunday. And I could talk to her and see if she would be willing to open up early, do a class from like ten to twelve or something like that. I'd say do the bugs. I'd say do the bugs. Keep it local. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do so the bugs. What, you think, what was he cost on that? It was ten dollars per person per activity. So if they do, like, if she does, she could do ten dollars. She could do twenty people say doing. A glass ornament mm -hmm. or she could do 
ten doing a glass ornament and ten coming back another day and doing some piece of pottery, painted pottery. Mm -hmm. So we could break it up how we wanted. Was it ten dollars for one thing or was it ten dollars for two activities? Ten dollars per activity. Okay. Per child. Yeah, per child. Okay. So the child pays ten dollars and there's no other cost for them to take home a product. That right. is the cost total. And if we do it in December, we could do it through the grant money yes. that we have left so they wouldn't have to pay. No, no, no. But I want to make sure that yeah. the, the $10 a child is for the lesson and the product that they yes. make and take home. And yes. So there's no further cost for anybody else. I think, that, I, think we should go with, I think we should go with that. Okay. Um, I, so $10. Two fifty. It's around two fifty. We could open it up to twenty five kids. We'll find out how many. I would find out for sure how many, and it's first come first serve. And then if you wanted to do twenty five kids, so you could do like twelve and twelve if you wanted to do two different projects. But I would say the, the kids who went to project number one kind of go on the other end of the wait list. A wait list. To be able to have different children, do you think that's? I, I, I just want to make sure I'm not. Yeah, uh, we give one time kids get their opportunity if that's yeah. all. Um, but it would be first come, and if there was any left openings or something, then they could. How are we going to sign up for this? Yeah, are we going to sign up, or are they just going to show up? No, we, we have, have to, to have sign up. up. You have, have to yeah. have to do some kind of sign. How are we going to do that? Maybe do it by slips or sign slips home, or are we going to just. Uh, so <laughs> that may not work either. Mm. Um. What about email? Do we have email addresses for all parents? Or no? We do. We came do. from some wreck. <laughs> so anybody that was involved with. Well, that's who we're offering it to, right? They oh, that's a good school. question. Are we opening oh. up to. Now, that I that that's kind of fascinating because really, this grant money. Was, was for rec. for the kids who came into summer rec, right? Right. Okay, so maybe we need to offer it up to the kids who are in summer rec first, first, and then if there's any openings, we can put something on Facebook or something that we have so many openings left. But knowing that it doesn't cost anything to that child or the parent, right? You probably are easily going to be able to get yeah. your 25. 25 kids. So is it including Zoom? I would say, I don't know. I would just, if we're going to go with a glass light light or ornament, um, those are more geared towards or the kids. She doesn't like, like, um, toddlers to be using the glass because she's afraid of them getting glass splinters and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, so, not everybody would have to be seven at this point, right? Six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they had to have been in first grade, grade yeah, right? So, Iraq, so. so, as long as, and I think she has goggles and stuff for them all. Mm -hmm. I don't think, what were we going to use this for originally? I don't think the teens would have been a part of this. Well, we were going to use, no, yeah. we were going to use it for the STEM. Oh, were teens invited to that? Yes, but it never worked into their <laughs> schedule. I oh. tried to get it for okay. Friday morning so right. that they could do yeah. it, because it was fourth through tenth grade. Right. So worried about I say including just teams just, just because I don't yeah. Right. And do they want to be part of a right. you know, first, second, and third graders? And, right. Um, I say no. <coughs> uh, be my so goal. do we have a like an email blast that we can use? Yeah, I can get it. It's not in a contact card right now, but I can. I don't want to use Sports Engine. I don't want to do that email. No, 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 no. So yeah, I can put it all into a con contact card. Okay, and that so will send out yeah. to anybody and yeah. say, uh, so first come, first serve, and then if they reply out to us, sorry, we're full. Yeah. And that's that. So I, I'll have to say, Celia, I, I don't want to have to manage that. Okay. If this is something that I can, we can, I can give to you to manage if I give you the contact card. Yeah, just give me the contact information. Okay. I mean, I have to meet with Little Bucks to set up a time and confirm how many kids she can take at one time. Because the other thing is, is if she's taking... She may not want to take 25 kids at one time if they're younger kids because True. she's going to have parents there too. Mm -hmm. So she's got to 
think about her space. I would say I would go 12 at, at the most, and maybe that's too many too for her. Let her make that decision about how it is, and then that's the number that you can offer it to. And you can maybe get times and dates, and then mm -hmm. as you send out your email blast, you can. Yeah. And I think one thing for an entire second. Well, you could also ask, I mean, ask her, right? If you, if she doesn't want to do glass with, you know, a certain age, then that's what you put out in the email, right? That you say, glass project only for yeah. fourth through sixth graders or something, mm -hmm. right? Well, she did tell me, because she just put a special order in for me for the holidays, is that she is tonight at a school in Berwick or North Berwick doing ornaments. Mm -hmm. And she had to fly to Massachusetts this morning to pick up ornaments because her shipment from the Carolinas did not get in. Mm -hmm. So she's got a couple hundred ornaments coming. that are to be painted that are coming in. Oh, wow. oh so, so why don't she we just, so why don't just do two different sittings of ornament painting? Yeah. 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 And then, you know, do an older group and a, and a younger group. And, and she was thinking one about one having a flash sale on them. them. So maybe this is what it's my like. kid come in to paint an ornament and he'll probably pick one color and it'll be done in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right? <Yes. laughs> so you're good about picking the time and yep. being there and being part of it too? Yeah, okay. I can be there. Okay. I, I'll just make it around your schedule. <laughs> if you, yeah. you and her, her and, schedule. And uh, I'll, I'll put my son on the list. There you go. go down there. And then my husband can take junior one. Okay. All right. Okay, so that takes care of the, the grant money. The grant money. And it's done. Yeah. Good. <laughs> just um, remember, it can't go over whatever money. Yeah. So confirm. Confirm the amount. Caroline, itself. how much is there? Because we're already in the hole on the other. <laughs> yeah, the select, I asked the select board what happens if we don't have a pro, if we don't have it, and they reminded me that it would not be so bad if the grant money got turned in. That was not a select board, just one. <laughs> one select board member strongly suggested that if it doesn't happen, it's okay, it'll cover our de deficit. <laughs> um, I think, other, I'll wait to catch up on your notes and then. I think the other topic was. Oh, the budget, the, the 2019 budget. Are you guys sure ready to do your presentation? Yes. Uh, well, yeah. you know what I just thought about today, and I asked Celia, because we need to send that over, yep. right, mm -hmm. to John Woodward. Yep. So, um, so he can send it out to the budget committee. Right. It needs to be like a week before you Right, so which is coming up. Yep. So tomorrow. I think he said Friday. No, no one's at this Friday. Yeah, it's a week from so something I printed out. No, it's a printer. week. It's a week from tomorrow. Isn't it? What day? Is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's our first one. I think it's next week. So it's it Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. So yeah. Oh, so that. Yeah, it's not tonight. Uh, tomorrow night is Please Fire and Library. Tuesday. So I think it's next. Wednesday. And then next the fifth. Yeah. So he needs something tomorrow then. Right. Friday. Okay. By Friday would be fine. Well, I think the other thing I need to do is put together, um, so as far as we're concerned, what we proposed is done. So we know what we're, yeah. we're not making any changes to mm -hmm. it. Right. The only thing I need to put together is, well, I wanted to put together was bullet points of lessons learned and what's changed mm -hmm. and why it's changed and just brief notes. Mm -hmm. so and yeah. don't you remember last year what they wanted was um, the side by side? Yes, they they want to the side they, by side. so they want to see they want to see this year's budget, 2018's uh -huh. budget, and the proposed budget and how that lines up. Yeah, it's a new format that every department is supposed to be using. So I have the team budget, and we're going to take this column out because that was for last year, and. Then we have the projected for 2018, the actual amounts we spent. I don't think we need, I don't think we, do we need to put projected for 2018 in there? Or we, just what well, we usually did? Usually it's, it's, it's uh, two years of, of your budget, and then it's usually your expense too. So if you had last year, it's what your expenses were, and then your proposed for this year. So expenses for last year, proposed for this well, year. Last year for 18. So that's yeah. kind of like what we already did here. Yeah, you just probably have to close in your 
columns and just you can you can use your, your same one and just keep it kind of so this is what went to the budget committee last year okay this is what we actually spent in 2018 yep and this is what you're proposing and this is what i'm proposing yep do we need this column which what is, is the difference no so take that column out i don't think that i mean they, they can no make the difference is if i'm looking at it they don't need the notes from last year and they probably don't need the notes no, but they need to know what it's for. Oh, so, so they need this. So they need this column, this column, this column, this and this column. column. Yep. Okay. And any additional information that you want to supply, like in notes, it's to justify why you're asking for it, is important as well. So did you not get a copy of the, the, the format? No, I haven't seen I, it. I didn't see right, it let, me, let me ask Caroline to send it to you. Um, so I've, I've got three things. One would be the proposed budget. 
this year, but if you don't spend it this year, you can't use it. So right. It's back to the 1100 in January. Because like you for, can't carry it. I can't pay somebody for something right now. <laughs> well, didn't you say the school board wasn't working? The scoreboard isn't working. So can we look in? Can you look into a, what it would cost to get a new school board? Let's see if you can uh, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a school. That's a school piece of equipment. <laughs> In the, you're talking about the one in the school, right? So you can't just come in to pick something in the school building. That's their responsibility. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> that would be their budget. What if they never fix it? <laughs> they may not. They may not. I mean, I heard it. Was, I, Doing that, then more things won't get fixed. Well, what if we have? What if we have? And I, I think we have used in the past over there is a like a portable scoreboard that we brought in mm -hmm. um, for renting renting one or something. Is that what you're talking about? Um, one a scoreboard that would be like on wheels that could come yeah, in and out. It's not electronic. It's actually it is it's not electronic. Oh. You plug it into a wall. It's, it's, it's not. It's actually on the wall. So I know, but you must rent it from somewhere. No, we, we owned it. I don't know who owns it. How about that? <laughs> I think it's in my house. <laughs> or it's not my brother-in-law, so it might be. Um, I'll have to ask my brother-in-law. That's what. But it's it's not a very. I mean, maybe basketball at some point in time bought that. Maybe. Yeah. But that again, they raised funds to buy things. Right. Like that. <coughs> I don't think that was part of the school budget either. Right. That's when Tim and. Um, Tracy was there, right? Well, right was that, yeah, that. It was after. It was actually after that. Yeah. Was a bunch of, yeah. yeah. So they, they raised funds, they could have bought it. But I'm talking about more yeah. basketball, so you could buy more basketball than you would have been. Yep. Yeah. What about getting some snowshoes and opening that up to doing snowshoeing in the for winter carnival? Or you have to have a plan. It has to be in full. You're not going to let you just spend money for the sake of spending money. Okay, is this Sorry. something? Is it money that um, can be spent um, for camp for the end of the year, or no? Is it specific money that's going to be spent for camp. You mean summer camp? No. What they're going to do is they're going to take that money and they're going to offset the deficit you had for summer camp. It's right. It's not you. So it's not. I mean, it's not going to technically go away. It's going to offset because it, it's still less than what you right. went in the hole with. So. Mm -hmm. That's why Mike was saying that, you know, if it doesn't happen, it's okay because we can offset summer rec. That's what that money will be. I mean, if you were doing something in, in December of some kind of a weekend thing or whatever you, you're doing, right. I mean, you're entitled to use the money. But you've got to put your request in in December. Right. Because after December 1st, it's not available. Right. I mean, then you're into January. Even though it's not an approved budget until March, I don't know how they're going to think about it. I'll ask that question about. So if we had a basketball game on a Sunday, we can use that money to pay whoever. If you needed a ref or something. A ref or or and, or and, yeah. and yeah. a staff member. The money is there. You yeah. just have to you just have to forewarn them that you're going to be doing something, yeah. you know. But because you know, once I start talking, like some, I think we had one guy last year that was like, "You got anything in December open?" You know, and I. Did scheduling last year, and I was like, "Oh no, I'm we won't be ready for that," you know, mm -hmm. kind of thing. But maybe we could pull together some sort of deal in December. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you know that you have about a little over eight hundred dollars, so yeah. But that wouldn't even be yeah. That would yeah, maybe a hundred of it, right? <laughs> yeah. Sweatshirt, well, sweat sweatsuits, <laughs> sweatshirts for everybody. Sweatshirts for the fall. You know what they actually did ask for the other day, um, and I don't know if we have some from summer. I just remember this: um, first aid kits for basketball. Oh, uh, we have them. Yeah. However, possibly we should be having them for its own organization. So then it, you know, what it doesn't get lost in here, whatever. And have I don't have a problem with Maybe first like aid two, kits. Two, two first aid kits yeah. for basketball. Or, um, 
that would be you know, something we have to vote on. <laughs> You'd have to do a PO and have to go through the board of okay. So I would do it sooner than later. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, I don't know, can we, are you looking to buy one all put together? Yes. Or are you looking to put the big house? Unless somebody, who, who did ours? Did the, did the fireman do ours? For yeah, us? I think mm -hmm. so, yeah. But I would, um, especially. But you can get those off on Amazon. Um, yeah. And like pretty, you know, they're, if you wanted to do that and then get the PO. Um, and then she would put it in the board okay. uh, packet. Okay. Um, I, I think we, we definitely need that. I, I think that we should have that for our open gym so we don't have them. Yep, so. yep exactly. Okay. And make sure you include our sort of um, ice cream. That yes, that's the, yeah, that's, that's, the, I think that's the biggest <laughs> That's the biggest thing of all. So, <laughs> and if you had to buy a carton of them, yeah. the car, you know, because that's, that's the most important yeah. is having that. Yeah, but if you do something up, then you can do a PO up okay. and then get it to Caroline. She'll put it to the board on Monday. Okay. Do you need water when you have for the for No, because we're all in the gym. Yeah, we don't need that. All right, well, that's good. That's one thing that we can mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. Good. So back to the budget. I, okay. I looked at um, John's note for Friday, so if we can get it to him on okay. Friday. Yes. So if I can email you the, yeah. who would like it for the rec? Wait, you, you? For a team? Yeah, yeah, send me team and then I'll send the two of them over together. Okay. And, um, um, the other lines in the budget. There's winter rec and there's senior programs. Was there anything in that Did line? Did we put senior programs, see programs in there? Senior programs in there. Well, the senior programs isn't in there. They were in there this year. Yes, it is. But they were a three hundred dollars. Oh, it is in there. Senior programs. There's summer camp. The they the. Um, I, I, wonder, I hopefully the taxes still taxes are part of the budget because it made a separate line. Oh, it, okay. All right. Um, senior programs has three hundred. Family day has five hundred. And winter rec basketball has. And you had senior programs for 300 in the budget that you haven't spent, right? Yeah. And you're not going to? It's uh, to cover the cost of the mailing. Oh, so is that going to happen this year? Yeah. Sooner than better. We'll yeah, I'm going to okay. be working on it this week. Okay. We'll You've got a lot of stuff on your list of things. Well, I don't have anything for the PTO <laughs> or anything else. Um, to ask the community what they would like to see for, for senior programming. It's just the, I'm gonna go to get a, do like a 10 question survey printed out. So that that's to cover the cost of printing or whatever, or unless they could probably do it here. Um, and then the cost of the mail. I was going to send it out to the whole community. That's what okay. this would cover, I think, when I discussed the cost last year with Salme, because yeah. she does all of the um, Salmon Falls oh, okay. quarterly. She said, yes, okay. everything with the town check, though. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I asked about how much it would cost, it would be between 150 and 200 yeah. to mail it out to every resident in town. Okay. Yeah, you have to make sure you have the right screen printed or whatever you have to have that marked. And I checked yeah. some and she knows all about that. And then um, you can, can it be on a poster card? Uh, like a sheet without envelopes and stuff, all of that, right? Yeah. I'm sending it out like like they do the campaign stuff. I was gonna like try to fold it or something and then so one side would be blank with to put the mail address on and then the other side would have the um, survey on it so you just open it up you fill out the survey and you can drop it at the town hall or the library or something you just watch your restrictions i know there's restrictions about okay. um folding and all of that so just be careful i guess they talk to some because she knows she knows all of them okay yeah. sounds good but like i want to know what do the seniors want um where would they like to meet um 
So you're not including a self-addressed stamp on the I was going to ask you, how do you do that? Because there's <laughs> you know, a lot of seniors, so some of them may not just want to leave, drop things off. I mean, how do you? Yeah, that's, that was one thing that if it would cover, I, I have to verify the price, because if it was, that it would have covered one to two mailings. Um, well, that's our mailings, not yeah. not stamps. Right. Yeah. So how would you? So how can we separate a mailing? Can, is there a way to to do it's like a senior? Yeah. Thing. And how you break that down? Yeah. How would you? Um, how did you get that? Or we could just fifty. I'm gonna eighty. I think I would have to coordinate with Kate because she would probably know. Like, I don't know how you would do that. If you could it would take them. longer than what we have available, probably, right now. I thought you were going to send it to everybody. You just take a chance at the first. Yeah. Drop them off. And, and if we just even get a handful of responses this year, it's probably a good starting point. Right. To get the word out, yeah. and then we can invest it again and, um, to doing more publicity and stuff. For the did you community. see the paper this past Sunday? I have it. I didn't look through it. There was a one. Art. Did you see the paper? The the old Dell, the Dell Men's Club was. It was a big article, and it like, cracked me up. So I so it's a bunch of guys meet up and. Oh, I did you had an there? article last year on that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah, they call themselves the Dull Men's Club. Yep. And they, <laughs> so they meet like once a month or something yeah. and they go out and yeah. to dinner and whatever. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. yeah it's kind of it was, it was kind of funny. I think they said that they weren't allowed to talk about politics or um, something else. And I was like, oh, it's like, oh, my dad can't join that group. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the town I grew up in, they have Old Farts Club that meets once a week at yeah. the local pizza place because the Oh, they got kicked out of a bunch of other places. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, they were shut down for renovation, so they couldn't meet. And yeah. Then there wasn't enough space, so now they, they go to the pizza place. And the pizza place opens at like 10 o'clock on a Thursday. And they all have just their... Just for them? Just for them. They have their coffee mugs with their names on them. Oh my and God, the, the pizza owners are there getting ready for the right. morning rush or whatever. And they just put on a pot of coffee and the, on the counter, and the guys go up, and they pay like two bucks for a couple hours of conversation. And then when somebody got, dies, they put a black ribbon on the handle and put it aside. Aww. So, But they all get together and they talk about life and yeah. what's going on. Jeez, so I think good. like a coffee hour for seniors or something may not be bad, but I don't want to assume what other people want. Because right. you could even hook up maybe with the um, Georgetown Black Council. Yeah, the Black Bean. The Black Bean. Yeah. Yeah. Might give you the space on a you know like a time period that's not very busy within during the week, mm -hmm. and kind of help you sponsor that too. You know? Yeah, that's a really good idea. And then the like, we're, we're going to North Country Art Center, which might be a better place <laughs> than a uh, senior audience. <laughs> small like the black bean or the library and as it grows mm -hmm. consider like asking the legion if we can use their space mm -hmm. once a month or something sounds like a good start yeah. so yeah. Uh, and not to but it's in, not to go back because i was like only people need a ride but i did notice that the elliot um the elliot rec whatever they're mm -hmm. called has their own van of some sort oh is that right yes because they have they come and pick up kids for certain things to take them. Um, so I thought that was interesting that he had that on there too. Sounds like it was quite an amenity. Yeah. yeah. So that, yeah, well, I'm sure it's about that. Too. Too, that right. right. You know, they might get some funding through that. Right. You know, so I'll be curious to talk to Heather about it. Mm. I'll actually see her tomorrow because the invitation yesterday last the one so. So is there anything that's on the agenda? Yeah. Um, to who's? We're talking about what we could work on. So if we chose two of the most important things that we should start on as far as camp is concerned, what would they be? We've identified one of them, which 
should be getting on, uh, on, I think it's uh, first staff. Uh, staffing is the <laughs> number one priority. You don't want to be rushing at the end of the right. program, especially if you're a director and your assistant director and your team director. Um, you want to, I think you need to get something out soon for them. Do we want to, So you had a contact, right? So if we just let's just talk about the um, the director and the assistant director. So if you you had contact, they have the center and either a text. So yeah, I think she would be. I think she would be good in either capacity of director for camp or team. No, it's the director not kind of under being a. I don't know. I have to. I, I, I when I talked to her, she was kind of funny at the end. She seemed to be in this kind of weird in her life that she's like, I don't know if I'm going to stay doing what I'm doing. You know, she seemed to be kind of in this, mm -hmm. like, do I want to continue to be a teacher or not? So well, tell her what the stipend is. Yep. You know, to tell her that she doesn't report to anyone. Right. Right. Anymore. She has, so she, has tell her she wants the show. Tell her, tell her her program. Okay. Which might so have been kind of a her. way of, that might have been What was our, what do we decide? Do we do team as a stipend? Team. Did we say team? Director was a stipend too. Do we say all three were? I don't know. Did we, just Did we say that again? Yeah. Amelia? Let me review. Uh, I think we did. Because we Team wanted. camp director salary and position. Yep. For 24 hours times seven weeks. Or we changed it up a little bit. Didn't we? So what was the total for the team? Yeah, but the, what was the total? 3,100. And the director's stipend is fifty five hundred for P C R. And then what do we say about the assistant director? Assistant uh, for Camp Raleigh three hundred forty three. Okay, so those are all stipends so they don't get any overtime. And the expectation is that they have to attend the meeting. Yeah. Before and the organization and the setup, that's all part of it in that salary. Yeah. So and, and so hand in hand with the priorities. So finding a director and assistant director. Staffing. Maybe it's right, but we also have to look at the roles and responsibilities because if we're, give, you know, like you said, we need to figure out how many meetings are going to attend. Mm -hmm. like, we really need to bang that stuff out too. So wait, so do we need? As I think last year we made a big mistake not doing that. Uh, do we need a new? Um, so that's what we were going to talk about. Describing description, job descriptions for each of these right. positions. And Brittany was going to do that. And I don't think we have that. one. That's, it's an old one. It's bare yeah. bones and, uh -huh. that we could build up. Yes. Do you have it? It's on the drive under me. Okay. Let me look at it and see what I can do on that. Okay. Okay. I'll take that one on. So. saying that uh, as far as staffing is concerned that you need staffing and the role descriptions is that one or do we consider that the top two because I feel like right now I do an immediate need is there another immediate need that we can think of like one more or just work on those three I think that we need to get it advertised out for those those because once you can say that they those are your people mm. then they can help you plan Maybe bring some bigger, you know, yeah. different ideas, yeah. you know, because we don't have the same old coming in. Yeah. Um, so they, they can help you during the process of getting this all together I mean, as soon as possible. I would also say that a part of getting your announcement out is the contact with UNH. 
<laughs> so I'll take, I'll well, do the UNH contact. And then the other thing I was going to add in is, do we want to try and put this, um, and, and I don't even have to be telling about this or advertising, but do we put, do we put something in the fosters before our money runs out? And uh, then, well, I mean, it, could we use our $800 from <laughs> to practice every Could we put an ad in the fosters to say, well, board. again, it's something that you need to do a PO and have it come to the board. Yeah. I can't speak for the other two. Yeah. Um, so if that's something that you think you can do, find out how much it is for a posting of a certain size and put it in there for how many days you think you want to put it in and then have it come to the board. Because, I mean, it, it's a legitimate expense, right? Because you're looking for staff and right. you're starting now. Right. So it's, but I would, All right. I'll I don't take, really want to say you can do I'll it. I'll have that. I'll investigate okay. what it would cost yeah. to... Uh, Um, to talk to Karen, I, she did have an online website. She was, I don't know if she still does, where she was posting jobs one week and then a couple weeks ago. And she's also the contact for New Hampshire Employment Security. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to talk to Carolyn to do a purchase order, so. <laughs> yeah, and ask about, about, you know, until yeah. that I can get the judge to help or something. And So I'll contact Roseanne and Lori about whether or not this is still, or Roxanne and Lori, <laughs> whether or not this is still on mm -hmm. the committee. Um, I'll start getting the, vol I'll do the volunteer portion of it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get that done. Denise, you're going to contact, or actually both you and Denise are contacting Heather. Well, if you're going to come tomorrow night, feel free. Yeah. Well, um, and I already left her a message today, so. And you tell her that I'm on the committee yeah. with you, and she's starting yeah. with me. Um, and I, just, I think yeah. it would be great if she can just have us sit down and give her some ideas. Yeah, that would know. be awesome. So, Kelly, you're doing that. We're all um, coming back next month with winter carnival feedback or any sort of ideas mm -hmm. that we're going to be working on. Mm -hmm. um, Celia, you're taking care of doodle bugs or wherever the grant money is going to go. If you need any help from us, or Kathy, um, let us know. Um, and then I'll get you the contact card. Budgets, Celia, you'll send to me. I'll send it out to John by Friday. Celia is doing uh, city mailings. Oh, Kelly, you've got a contact and you've got a contact for the yeah. uh, staffing. Yeah. Roll descriptions to me. Mm -hmm. I'm contacting you and H, and that's it. That's it. That's and you're going <laughs> to you're gonna get the POs to yep. Caroline right. as yeah. soon as you can. Okay, I think that's it. That's all she wrote. A question um, about the winter rink fund. If we still have that, or we're doing a special event for leftover from Camp Raleigh, can we use that money to do the old rink? Rec money be used as overflow for the grant. Or like, are you saying if we had any winter. oh winter rec? Yeah. Um, or do we want to just do limit it to the twenty five? Twenty five. If we get an overwhelming response, do we want to use the winter rec grant money? Let the winter rec money for doodle books. That is beyond the grant. Yeah. I mean. I think that you probably could because it's part of the winter program. However, I wouldn't use it unless you had to because you have the students to do it. So, right, okay. but let me let me um, I'll bring it to the board on Monday just to make sure because again.
they are hoping that that will go towards a shortage of summer. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I say it's there. We should be able to use it. Because, you know. So let me talk to them though. Okay. But that's if you give them the and they respond. Which, True. Uh, yeah. And I, I mean, I would tell you that my kids would do it, but it would depend too on the day and what you know what's going on with us for our adult age and sports. <laughs> So what are we thinking? Are we, are we, are we, when are we coming back? <laughs> <laughs> I think December is out of the question, to be honest. But, or in January? So maybe what we can do instead of, um, oh boy. Yeah, that's going to definitely, because we're, we've got a couple of very important things we're working on and we're not meeting until January. So well, we can meet in December. I mean, I'm just saying it's going to be a busy time, that's all. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm I mean, there's budget meetings every week uh, in December. Do um, you want to plan to meet early January, like on um, the 8th or 15th? I am probably not going to be for that week. That's when I travel. So I will be, um, I could be the second or third. Right now I'm looking at a plane ticket, leaving probably Friday or Saturday and coming back the following week. So this whole week. Either you do the second or the third. What's the day of the week? It's a Wednesday. It's the second. Yeah, but that's going to be budget. Is that's that still in January? Wednesday. It is. Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah. Well, when do you come back? Because that they're, they're going to be coming I'll be back definitely on by the thirteenth. So okay. we could do the fifteenth or sixteenth. That well, Tuesday is the fifteenth. So let's do this. We can meet maybe the fifteenth, which is Tuesday of January. January. Yeah. And maybe in mid December, I'll send out a note to all of us just saying, can do a status on blah, blah, blah. And then we can reply back to everybody yep. Yep. with our statuses. Yeah, that's a good idea. So yes, let's set know. up the rec meeting. So January, what was it again? 15th. 15th, yep. which is a Tuesday. Yeah. Sure how to do it. <laughs> At 6? Sure. Yes. Okay. That's not Columbus Day weekend, is it? Columbus Day weekend. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. <laughs> no. <laughs> coming up um, 
from the community, whether it be the school or something else that we can figure out on as far as fundraising? This uh, within like December or January. The school rate, the PTO rate, just finished a book sale. Yeah, and, and last Friday. I would have done. Yeah, how'd it go? For our first fundraiser being a new group, but well, well, why don't we adjourn the reckoning group? <laughs> so, can I make a motion to adjourn? Yes.